Woolworths is Australia's biggest supermarket chain. And they just shout out Woolworths bricks. Collect, build, play. Doesn't look anything like Lego. Don't even worry about it. In fact, compatible with other brands. Kids won't know the difference. Just, just get this. Just drop it in with the Lego set. We're gonna test that theory today. We'll see if it fits together. So, uh, we have 29 bags here. Let's see what we get. It's a little man. Oh, is he just like, you wanna, okay. Remember, not Lego. I get it, these, they look like dog shit. I think if you spend maybe $30, I wanna say, every $30 you spend, you get a bricks bag. This is Woolworth's answer to competing brand, Coles, which is our other big supermarket. They put out Coles Mini Shop, which was very, uh, very, very popular. Even the video I did on my channel did very well for something that was given at a, a local Australian supermarket. People love mini brand stuff. Anyway, a lot of people got super outraged that the Coles mini stuff was killing the earth or, or something. Which is 100% why Woolworths have made their bricks uh, mostly recyclable. These are made from recycled plastics, I think. So you just uh, take one of these in if you find it, if you pry it from a, a seagull's gullet at the beach, you can just take it back to Woolworths. No problem, mate, recycled. And this guy has uh, what seems to be the most pointless sticker in the world. Surely I've, I've done that wrong. Okay, yes, I've definitely done this wrong. So you get those free with your shopping, but then, you can buy this, so you can build a Woolworths. Uh, so you've got uh, the, the front there, it's kind of, I guess it's missing the walls. And then if you look up here, this is for the poor people. This is the basic pack. This only has one full wall and stickers. <laughs> poor? What's even the point of this? Throw that in the garbage. You know your boy got the deluxe. Why did they do this? This is, it seems so ridiculous. This one has two full walls. This just seems like so stupid. Like you're gonna sell this anyway? Why even have two models? It's just, it's, it seems ridiculous. So the extra wall was DLC the whole time. This guy in the back says, Woolworths bricks are made from at least 80% recycled material. <sighs> My Achilles heel. Assembling anything. Oh, there you go. Definitely not Lego, by the way. Uh, oh my god, please. Okay, be right back. Ta-da! It's your local Woolworths. Um, yeah, I got my girlfriend to help me uh, put it together. Not Lego, uh, by the way. Um, so you've got the delivery door, you've got, you've, basically there's a bunch of little stickers that you just stick over the bricks. Um, Woolworths, the fresh food people. Australia's Woolworths, the fresh food people. Okay, is that guy jacking off on the bread? Australia's Woolworths, the fresh food people. Bruh. <laughs> and then these are like advertisements that are actually out the front of the real store, I think. Very meta! We've got an advertisement for Woolworths Bricks. And then we've got like these uh, stands for different foods, but all of this is like the base. Now, we must crack in to see what we can get to fill up our store. Okay, looks like uh, we have a veggie stand. We've got the broccoli. You got the strawberries. And then I guess we take the piece that we got uh, with our set, and now that goes on top. Interesting sort of distribution method. All right, let's try another one. Okay. Ah! Okay, don't do that. I've just ripped, no! The bread and the Gillette razors. This is just like a big advertisement. Whoops, all right, we'll skip that one for now. I won't rip any more in half. We have something gray. Okay, so these are like uh, the shelves. So you put that together. Then I think we just take this, which is like, what, olive oil or something? You stick it on. You stick the jasmine rice on the back. Second shelf, wholemeal flour, diced tomatoes. Then I think you just put this like that. You put the stand on the bottom and uh, that's a shelf. It's a Woolworths shelf. I've got no idea 
how many pieces there is to collect. It looks like we've got another, oh no, a double already. We'll take a proper look at the store once it gets developed a bit more. Okay, okay, we've got the washing powder. We've got the, the oat bars, blah, blah, blah. How does this one work? Oh, they give you an actual like bottle shaped piece. So we stick that like that. Then we put the washing up sticker on both sides. There you go, that's, that's kind of cool. I think the oat bars just go on this flat slab. Yeah, like I wasn't bad enough at putting stickers on. This one you get to wrap all the way around. Okay, that's a pretty good job. I think I did a pretty good job there. Ooh, okay, that's effective. Then we gotta do the same for the Huggies. There it is. We out here building products. I don't know, it's simple yet effective and obviously you can just chuck this in with your Lego set. It's clever that they've made it compatible. I just don't understand how it's legal. I know there's all sorts of different, you know, buildable block things. This just seems maybe a little bit too close. Okay, we got another shelf and it's a double. Next. Ooh, what is this? Is it like a little chair? This one looks simple. Oh, it's the recycling bin. You gotta make sure you include this. It shows how responsible you are when you come into the store to recycle this shit. Sticker. Fuck. Sticker. Sticker. Man, that is the worst one yet. Look at that front sticker. But there you go. I never thought I'd own the Woolworths recycling bin as a minifigure. Next. Another one. We... A replacement door? What is this? Oh! Oh, is it, it's the refrigerated section. Wait, are you serious? There's nothing to... Nothing to go in it? Are you serious? Am I missing? I feel like I've dropped a sticker somewhere that should be over the back. Ah! Here it is! Shit! Okay, yeah, that makes sense. I thought so. I feel like I've missed something. I've got this little fridge sticker. Is this supposed to sit on a... Am I missing a block? There you go, guys. Come get your milk. I'm sorry that I'm so bad at aligning these stickers. Let the show go on. Some more shelves. New ones this time? Yes! Something fresh! It's kind of strange you have this as like a flat sticker product and then also like a physical one. Shelves! Assemble! There it is! Woo! Don't forget to come get your dog dental sticks. Another pack? Oh, should start opening them like that. There we go. Ah, yes! Fantastic. It's it's the one we ripped. We got this, the dog dental sticks. Okay, so they've got multiple products that get turned into the physical objects that are also on the shelf. Okay, I like this one. It's got this little, uh, it's like a bread top thing. This is cool. We put the sticker on, take it all the way around, and we have bread. I mean, in theory, I thought it would look cooler, but... It's, it's still kind of cool. I mean, the, the bread, the, it bread, it bread. Up next, put on these two flat pieces and we have the sugar-free sparkling uh, Mount Franklin. Let's get the backside, deck him up nice and proper. There you go. We have the Gillette razors. Man, Woolworths should be paying me, honestly. This is just one long advertisement. This one's an interesting uh, shaped block. So we've got, uh, I think we have two of these. This is the original popcorn. And then you've got same thing for these uh, dog dental sticks. Okay, next new one. And we'll start assembling our store. This looks potentially new. Just depends if it's the same shelf. It is something new, tomatoes and lemons. We sort of uh, stack it like that, I think. Uh, this one has an additional sticker. Let me just sort of get that. On there, there you go. Well, uh, than lemon. Okay, our Woolworths looks more like an abandoned shopping center in a zombie movie. We've not made a whole lot of progress. Okay, this is utterly insane. You're telling me there's 36 unique pieces to get to deck out like the full store, and this does not count all these groceries. These are like separate. Oh my God, I'm delusional. I thought we'd have a fair chance at doing it. And we've been pulling so many doubles. I was like, there can't be that many pieces. What is there, like 50 pieces? It should not be 
very easy to get a double at this stage. Okay. Yeah, so see, we're getting all this stuff. Okay, this is actually cool. I like this more. Piece of broccoli. We've got a bunch of bananas. All this stuff is not included in the full so store setup. We've got an avocado. And a carrot. All right, let's try another one. Yes, something fresh. I don't think we've got any of these black shelf ones. I think this is like the deli. Okay, yeah, literally. There we go. Let's lay the meat down. Yes, lay down the meat. There we go. I think that goes like that, right? Very nice. Let's try another one. More shelving. Please do not be doubles. Bro, how are you going to do this to me? There is so many pieces to get. We are so screwed. All right. Okay, something entirely new. It's like the uh, little entry gate things. No entry. Entry. Is that how it goes? And so we just put that there for when the, the customers come in and out. Let us continue. Please do not give me a double. It looks like the deli. Please be something different. Not the same meat. Yes. Different meat. We've got some pork chops and some sausages. Let's go. Man's going to lay down the meat again. And there you go. My meat collection is uh, popping off. Another bricks by Woolies. This one feels like big and flat. Yep. We've got another fridge, the freezer, and we've got some McCain's barbecue pizza and some chicken nuggets. Okay, so I think you put that on, then you put the door in like that, then actually the freezer sticker goes on like uh, the outside, except better. Again, I really thought I would have had enough. Oh, the cash register. That is a quintessential piece. Put this like that. We put this like that. We got the little screen. Let's see if we can do this. There we go. <laughs> I suck. Then I think uh, this goes there. And then this piece sort of just uh, like sits there, I think. Another one. What do we have? Seafood. Yeah, I'm on a seafood diet. I see food, I eat it. <laughs> we got some fish. Oh, motherfucker got some fish and shit. Oh, I think this is going in my meat section. There you go. Fish and shit. Good. Another. We have, oh, double, another double. At least we can build him correctly this time. I think we had the front back to front. Uh, so that makes more sense. Put this sticker on, like why? This sucks. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Actually, hold on, let me do a better version of that. Wait, did I? I think this is one that I missed when I did this Lego video. Yeah, I didn't open all the packs and I missed one. And I think it's, it was this guy. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. Yeah, I definitely don't remember building a little racing car man. It's a good thing he's compatible. Like, check him out. Now he's just shopping. Man, racing car drivers, they be shopping. Another one. Let's see what we get. Ooh, another normal shelf. Something, uh, something new. Avocados and onions. Voila. There it is. There, there, there's brick. Let me do another brick. Do we have something new? I'm gonna kill. I, I'm gonna kill. I am going to murder the Woolworths employees. No, this is not a threat. This is a joke. That is a joke. I am moving on now. Sorry to my neighbors if they heard that. Okay, I am doing another one. I'm gonna, uh, yes, okay, looking promising. I mean, maybe. Actually, hang on, we've already got three of these, so maybe not. Please be some sort of additional new meat. <sighs> this thing must be one of the hardest things to complete, like naturally, unless you've got someone who works there, who's finger in the bags for you. This is so sad, we're running so low now. Okay, is this, okay, at least something new. Something new, a new, uh, new shelf. Voila, there is side number one. There is side number two. Another bag. Let's see. Doubles! Ah! Another bag? Please don't be doubles. Oh, it's a fridge. This should be promising. I think there's multiple fridges. We've only got two of them. Okay, we have four packs left. 
And we have a duplicate checkout counter again. I guess some word of advice if you're trying to complete this naturally by getting bags, you might want to go to a few different stores. Because this is another duplicate! Two more bags. Surely you give me at least one new thing. Okay, here we go. Something new. The toothpaste aisle. Wait, but you're giving us more Gillettes? We've already had Gillette razors and different Huggies. Oh no, wait, those were physical items. Not store shelves, I don't think. Razor? On. Huggies? On. Shelf? Assembled. There you go. Our last pack. Then we will take a look at our... <sighs> Come on, man. I've taken some creative liberties to use the doubles and rearrange a few shelves and things. But I think, I think we did pretty good with what we've been given. There's some Lego people shopping in here. And yes, the brick stuff does click into the Lego people's hands. This man is checking out his shopping. There's a banana in the onion section. Fantastic. Okay, now for the tail end of the video, the two bonus Pokemon packs. Let's go for the Eevee heroes first this time. We usually do it the other way around. One to the front. Let's see what we get this time, folks. Zoroa, we're gonna rot him. We have a Glaceon VMAX. Nothing too crazy, but something other than done nonetheless. Okay, let's uh let's see what we get from our second pack of the day. One to the front. No weird little thing to throw away. Heracross, monkey teaching Sobble some tricks. And okay, two for two, this 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 one. A VMAX into a holographic. Nice. And I'm remembering to do it more each episode now. Obligatory deck sleeves! The deck sleeves of the day are these two horses. Two horses, two brothers from other mothers. But they're great friends. And you can put this message across all of your cards in your deck. And now it's time for Max Mofos Postcard Collection! Second wear Pokemon postcard. Okay, this one doesn't look like a postcard. Well, I mean, it's got a, it's a letter up there. Uh, so yeah, these are not traditionally postcards or even close to the ones that we usually do anyway. Uh, but I thought I would uh, give a little spotlight to these because we've opened one... I think we opened this one before. It's just like a, an insert yeah, yeah, yeah. thing. A little bit of card you would get with your order. And I think if you scan this, you get like a little Pikachu that walks on your screen. Like some AR shit. Um, the backs are all the same. But there's three different lots of artwork. At least I think there's three. So here's this one. And then finally we have this one as well. At least I think we have them all now. But thank you guys uh, for watching. If you'd like to support me buying little pieces of shit knockoff Lego, you can do so by uh, buying the Max Mofo merch. Look at that beautiful merch. Get yourself decked out in that Max Mofo merch, baby! Woo! Link at the top of the description below, or you can go to max.shirts with the z.cool. Anything else from that website that is not my merch, use code MOFO to save 10%. Other than that, I will see you guys next time. Two videos on screen. Uh, watch some more Lego stuff. Some more higher quality brick building. But pretty close, really.